Welcome to the Brockville Museum's video series on the artist Frederick Locke. My name is Alice. I'm the Interpretation and Public Program Coordinator here at the Brockville Museum. And today I'm in the Upper Gallery. Uh, this is where uh, we have on view for you an exhibit of Frederick Locke's work. So who was Frederick Locke? Uh, Frederick Locke was a British artist. Uh, he was born in Suffolk, England in 1825. Uh, in his youth, he was quite a prolific artist. He studied at the Royal Academy in London and also had some of his lithographs and different drawings published in different magazines. Uh, eventually he moves to Canada uh, and comes to Montreal in 1847 to live with his uncle. Uh, from there he travels a little bit around Canada and begins to um, paint and draw many different landscapes. Uh, later on, he actually lands in Brockville in 1853. He sets up shop in the Mackenzie Hotel and he holds his first exhibition in Brockville, uh, showcasing some of the portraits he's done of some Brockville merchants. Uh, from there, he begins to rub shoulders with some of Brockville's elite. Uh, and you can see some of the portraits just behind me there. Uh, these are the portraits of James and Maria Schofield. I'll talk a little bit more about Locke's technique later on in another video. So things go very well for Locke in Brockville. Uh, he spends a lot of time out on the St. Lawrence and the Thousand Islands. Uh, he ends up making a friend, William Sherwood, who we'll hear a little bit more about later on, and he also finds love. Uh, so he marries Emily Chafee, uh, she's the daughter of prominent Brockville citizens Benjamin and Francis Chafee. However, uh, this success is rather short-lived. Um, Emily passes away in 1859. Uh, so Locke decides to cut his losses in Brockville, uh, begins to sell off his lithographs, his drawings, and his paintings uh, in Brockville and makes that return to England. However, that's not where his connection to Brockville ends. Uh, in fact, the museum has some of his letters uh, between him and William Sherwood here in Brockville. Uh, so you can see them here just behind me. Uh, you can come and view them. And there's also uh, the ability to read them uh, full transcriptions on our museum database. Uh, so these letters are fantastic. Uh, they provide a really interesting view into the life of an artist, but they also speak to uh, Frederick Locke's longing uh, for Brockville. He really misses it. He misses his connection, especially to his former in-laws. He misses his connection to William, and he speaks very fondly about fishing on the St. Lawrence River, and also taking a walk up Courthouse Avenue to visit William in his law offices at the courthouse. Uh, so this provides a really complete picture of Brockville in the late 19th century.